Salutations, this is Grem Davel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld Alpha 13 in our Extreme Desert Colony. Uh, let's see, last, last episode was pretty uneventful, but we did manage to finish the main framework here of our new security area. It is a very large security area, and the idea here is that the um, turrets go all the way, have a, have a range that goes all the way over to the other side, but not quite to where the other turrets are. Uh, I'm hoping that'll be really cool, uh, and hoping that will work well. Uh, we also did some power management over here, which as soon as they do that, that should fix it. I think that's what Rough Child... No, Rough Child is making turrets right now, but um, we have a lot of that going on. Uh, we are almost out of kibble over here. Uh, in fact, if we are out of kibble over here... How are these doing? 83%. All right, not quite out of kibble, but very close. So we might need to start putting other food in this room. In fact, looking at the food that's in here, we we may need to put in, store some potatoes in here, unfortunately. And I that does make me start worrying. Um, in fact, what's the what's the priority here? Critical. Okay, I want to haul these potatoes away. How do I tell them to do that? I don't know. Uh, we ha Kona is hauling potatoes right now. Hopefully, she'll put. No, nope, she's not. Well, we need some potatoes in here. Um, I do worry about. I am starting to worry a little bit about our food situation. Although we just got this huge harvest, didn't we? I think part of it is that we are not prioritizing. Like we're not hauling and and plant cutting as efficiently as we sh should be because we have a lot of other stuff that we're kind of prioritizing right now. See, like, these, this heel root's ready to harvest. And we really only have one person that's dedicated to doing that farming stuff, and that's Irma. And Irma's sleeping right now, so. And Atsuki continues to cook. Okay, so we're, we are putting potatoes in here. They will spoil in here, but um, they, they take a long time to spoil, so. All right, we are carrying a lot more potatoes out here. And this area should fill up with potatoes pretty quickly. Um... How are the this corn? Uh, yeah, so now I do want to start paying a little more. I mean, we have we have meals for days, um, many days, uh, but it means that we might not want to sell any more food for a while until we're sure that we are making more food than we are consuming overall uh, after we cook our meals. Um, so maybe once we the next thing we're gonna want to do, I think, once our security area is completely finished is build out our area this way and make this a growing zone. I was thinking that we would make it all Devil Strand, but we haven't researched Devil Strand yet. Um, so maybe we will just have it be extra food for the meantime. Progress stopped until fertilized. Oh, the egg progress. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So female, I didn't know this. So female animals, I guess, can have eggs progress to a certain amount of point, to a certain point. And then, unless there's a male iguana around, or a male what, whatever animal, it won't actually lay an egg? Oh, I guess it just depends if they're egg-laying or not. Like, maybe if it was a chicken. Because iguana, like, lizards don't... Do, li do iguanas lay eggs? I have no idea. I actually have no idea. Uh, but there's a raid here. Tribes people. And I thought... I was trying to make peace with the tribes people, but I guess it's... Whoa. It's a lot of tribes people. Question is, can we... So, I think if we have 300 silver, we could even try to... And we did just get a lot of silver um, from selling stuff. Natsuki, where are you? So, right now, our fa our, with that tribe, we're at negative 27, and we can improve that. The question is, do we want to improve that right now? I think we do. Natsuki, stop cooking. Um, come over to the comm console and call the Marula of the Plain, and let's see if we can negotiate some peace before they attack us. Now, I didn't I didn't see if they were going to prepare or not first. Um, wow, that's a lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. Uh, so we do have... We do have a... Where's our silver? It's just up here. Uh, what's wrong with me? Why am I not seeing... Oh, here. The 1100. So we have a bunch of silver. Could we improve by 13? They're still hostile, though. 
All right, I'll do 600. Let's do it. They're still hostile. Goodwill is at zero. I mean, that's about all I can do, I think. That's all I want to do right now. I mean, we could spend the extra... That's a lot of tribes people. And we don't have our traps set up quite yet. I mean, I can do it one more time. I guess I will. Uh, we don't really need the silver for anything else right now. Yes! That worked. I mean, that we, so we just paid 900 silver to make peace with these people. And we had paid a little bit earlier, too. They're no, but, uh, I mean, but that avoided uh, what looks like a couple of dozen of tribes people attacking us when we're not quite ready for them. I mean, we do have some turrets that would attack them, but we don't have any traps right now. Uh, and they would probably destroy all of these. And we only have three fighters. And this way, we don't have to rebuild anything. There's no chance of us getting hurt or damaged. Uh, I think it was the right call. So that was good. Okay. Uh, that probably wasn't as entertaining as it could have been, but um, that's interesting. We are now at peace with these tribes people. Very happy about that. Okay. Factions. Uh, yeah, in fact, we have more goodwill with them than we do with Poet's Cave, which is interesting. They'll probably trade with us now, but they probably don't have a lot of stuff that we would want. Although maybe they sell stuff for cheaper? I don't know. Um, when are we going to get more... Oh. oh, this is marble. We should have plenty of marble. We just aren't constructing it. Hmm. We just, uh, we just don't have the manpower, I guess. Alright, but this room is filled with food now. With potatoes. Uh, Natsuki continues to cook. We are turning all of our food into meals, which is... I, I mean, we have tons of meals here. We have... Yeah, we have 200. So... Each time she does that, it's just one meal, right? Yeah. Natsuki cooks a lot. Her cooking has to be really high. I mean, it's still only nine. I wonder what it started as. I can't really remember. I think it was much lower than that, though. She's just cooked so much. Uh, okay, we're making more blocks. And you know what? Um, I think part of the issue is that I think race that we might tell to do some constructing. I think we took people, lowered constructing for some people. Yeah, you're crafting before you're constructing. Only rough child is constructing first. Um, and your construction race is actually pretty good, so let's have you do that. That'll be important. Because all none of this stuff has a quality factor to it, so racers should be doing that. Duero is mining, which is important. Fall has begun. That might cool stuff off. We have this nice psychic insanity lance, which, you, lance, which we got last episode. Do we have anyone that has a melee weapon? No. If we do, though, we might want to use this elephant tusk. I'm not sure. They're beginning their assault. Um, I hope that means they're leaving... Um, they're not assaulting us, I hope. We have goodwill towards them. Um, just as moving. Doesn't say they're attacking anything. These guys are going over there. Uh, interesting. Where are you going? Where are you going, Chief Val? Uh, okay, it looks like they're just going to exit the bottom of the map, I think. Except Anteater here. Warrior Anteater needs blood. You're just moving, though. Um, one left. Where is everyone going? I have no idea what they're doing. Really weird. Huh. Okay. Well, in any case, they are definitely moving past my base, so... Uh, not a threat. I was a little worried. Uh, Race is probably sleeping at this point. Yeah, let me just hurry stuff along. Oh, Pete! Can you... You can't train the iguana because the iguana's sleeping. How's your animal handling now? It's 
Still five. It has increased a little bit, but not much. It's going to take a while before we get animal handling up enough to be able to train these elephants. It does stink we don't have anyone that has a six in animal handling. It might help to be able to train new animals, though. That would be good. So let's take this opportunity to look for some. Looking for sleeping animals on the map. Not seeing any. That's the thing about this map. Very few animals. We could set out some food, I guess, outside of our encampment, and that might lure animals. I'm not really sure how that works. In fact, we could set some, like, growing zones out here. That might be a little interesting. Hmm. Uh, so that would be, like, susceptible to, like, being caught on fire and stuff like that. But at the same time, if it encourages animals uh, to come and eat. Of, uh, and I wanted this all to be one growing zone. Hold on. Oh. I see. Oh, no, no. What? Like that. I just want one growing zone here. Although these are closer here. Uh, okay, two growing zones. And um, we'll just say, I guess, potatoes and um, corn. Why not? Although maybe we could do, I mean, we could do more hay. I mean, that wouldn't, that would have animals come anyway, right? And do it. Hay grass and we'll do another corn here. I feel like we have enough potatoes, not enough corn. We have potatoes here. We have potatoes here. I guess we did get rid of some potato zones, but this is our only corn zone. We could replace our cotton with um, with food, too, if we run low on food. And, of course, our tree zones. But we'll give Irma some. Irma likes sewing. It gives her positive moodlets, too. So we could, like, plant trees around here, too. That might be wise. Since trees... Oh, whoops. Well... We'll just do some, like, poplars. Since trees take a long time to grow, it won't. it's not as big a deal that they're further away, I think. That's my theory. Whoops. Clicked off the map there. Yeah, we'll just kind of do that as, like, a little test, a little test run. And same here, poplars. Cool. These poplars are 60% grown. Okay, cool. Okay, um, so Reza should be constructing mostly now, as well as Rupchild. Uh, both are still sleeping, but they should be waking up soon. Okay, Pete's taming. 2701. I went up by 60. Okay. And I think it wasn't successful. Oh, the iguana is eating this plant. <laughs> or maybe he's not. All right, but it, that, wasn't, that wasn't a successful train either. Maybe it's if it's successful, it's um, it goes up by more. I would imagine that was the case. That would be the case. I like it. There's no negative moodlet for being around the elephants here, which is kind of cool. Why are you feeling terrible? Just because? You're an optimist. Why are you feeling terrible? It's a nice rec room. It's a rec room, but it's, it's a, it says it's a barn. I think that's kind of funny. All right, so they're moving some of the steel in here into here, which I guess is fine. It makes sense. We're not really using the smelter right now anyway. Um, it's not something, you know, we're not, well, we are low on steel, actually. So we could start using it. I think I'll set some of the slag to be hauled in. 
We want we want blocks in here too, not just steel slag. All right, they are. So we could just set blocks to be. In fact, let's do that. Let's let's haul these blocks in down here. It would be much better to fill that zone with with uh, stone chunks than these don't go bad, do they? No. With stone chunks than steel slag, because the steel slag we could actually use to the steel slag, like where we smelt, is further away. Um, sure. Let's take these two, I guess, and they're kind of far away, but. I mean, once we haul them, then we can... That's what we'll use to... We'll haul them eventually anyway, is the point. Might as well haul them when it's... Um, while uh, while we have some like peace time and are able to do it. Uh, but again, some people have constructing and cleaning overhauling, so that should work fine. Um, all right, Roughchild, I assume you're going to construct. Yes. And Raysa, where are you? Also constructing. Hauling steel. Um, oh, power conduit? Yeah, make the power conduits. And Baduero is still mining as a priority, which is important. Um, I would rather you do the steel first, but... Okay, more turrets. <laughs> okay. All right, go get some more steel. Power switch, good. Yeah, more. Yeah, we really need the power fixed here. I wish you could tell them what to prioritize without just like manually clicking on everything. Uh, but you're doing power conduit, which is good. And Raysa, what are you doing? Power conduit, excellent. Not quite done, but oh wait a minute. We had a power conduit going across here? Does it not does it interfere with the growth rate? I didn't I specifically did not want a power conduit going across. What was I thinking? I thought we cancelled it actually. Hold on. What's wrong with me? Power um power. I really thought that we tried very hard not to have that happen. Okay. Um Oh, Oh. So these would be on a separate switch. These power these these uh, turrets would be on a separate switch. I think that's what I did. Hmm. Well, if these don't interfere with the growing zone, then I guess it's okay. Uh, oh, these are being built to. Uh, Hmm. Yeah. I guess it's fine. Uh, growth rate 88%. These are all 88%, even the ones over the power line. Okay, it's fine. I, for some reason, thought that power lines might interfere with the growing, but it does not seem to, so... It's fine. Okay, let's uh, now designate this to be turned off. And uh, let's make sure these are connected at the correct spot. Cool. And all right, so our auto doors actually work now, which is very nice. And we are starting to make traps, also very nice. Um, and in fact, we have so much marble. I am going to set some more marble traps to be made. Well, I'll wait till they're done with these. That no, I'll make some now. <laughs> Marble dead fall traps. We have visitors. We'll just do this whole line here. Oh, and our new friends uh, from the tribe from the tribe want to trade with us. That's cool. Uh, Natsuki, are you asleep yet? Nope, you're cooking. Okay. Um. Why don't we trade? Uh, 
Okay. So you have food, which is interesting. Um, oh, you have a little food, but you only you buy food. And you don't buy meals. You just buy raw food. You also buy herbal medicine, which is interesting. Um, which, you know what? At this point, we have so much. I think I'm fine selling it to you. I don't know why this herbal medicine is cheaper than this one, but I guess that means it's less quality. We have so much herbal medicine. We might as well sell as much as we can to you. You're welcome. Just get a little bit of silver there. Yeah, we, that's a, yeah. maybe we have too much herbal meds. Although I think we maybe just... We did uh, reduce our herbal medicine growing zone recently. How's our hay doing? 90%? Okay. Once we have hay, we'll remove potatoes from this zone here. Our elephant food pile. What is this, rough child? Making a steel sculpture? I guess I told her to do that. Well, she already has the steel there, so that's fine. Only one sculpture. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of people hauling in all the stuff I told them to haul. That will take quite a while, I think. But I do want I do want this area to be filled with that stuff. Oh, what? No, no, these... These are supposed to... Why is this? No, no, no. Power. Um, right. That's correct. Oh! Um... I... Okay, that's correct. That's correct. Um, but these, this power line should not be getting power. Right? Um, oh, but, but it, no? Oh, but it is because of this. Let's make... Let's make that. Wait a minute. Yeah, we make that. And get rid of this. I think that'll work. It's a little confused. I'm, I'm confusing myself with all this, like, power management, trying to make sure certain things are turned on and certain things are turned off. Uh, we're using a lot of power right now because of all that. And it's nighttime. Our batteries, they're okay. Um, it would be nice if someone could do that right now. Who do we have? We have Pete. Is, any, is everyone else asleep? All right. Uh, the power should last through the night, though. We are. It is dropping. All right. It's it's almost morning. We'll be fine. Mm-hmm. All right. They're leaving. Pete's hauling. Ur Irma is sewing. Very good. That's what you do best. And what is her sewing at? At 16%. And she's really good at constructing. She just doesn't... Um, she. It's so important that we have someone that's good at sewing. Pete is training. Um, ooh. It's a, it is definitely better. Come on, Pete. Failed. Always fails. You'd think it wouldn't be that hard to train an iguana to, to um, what is it, release? I mean, in real life, it would be probably very difficult to train an iguana to attack on command, but... <laughs> okay, good. That's what I want you to do, Reza. And let's make sure this works here. Um, build that first. Okay, and now we reconnect. Okay. Excellent. Oh, but now that. Right. What do we do about that? 
Um, I think what we do, forgot about that. Um, we are going to be building this up. Um, we want this to be a separate connection. So it'll have to go outside for now, I think. I don't know if that means that raiders will be able to destroy it. But for now... For now, that's what it's going to do. Hopefully it's not wasting too much steel. Uh, how many, I don't think we have a lot of steel right now. In fact, I don't think we have any, except what we're just mining. And we still have a bunch... Oh, we haven't... Let me set... Um, now that we have all these walls built, let's set some turrets to be made. Cool. And I guess we can deconstruct this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, a lot of traps being made. Got a decent amount of marble and granite. I think the next row will be granite. Oh, whoops. Okay. We'll do this here just in case something break, like they break down a door and are able to come through here. This is the last line. Okay. Oh, armor started growing trees here, so that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes, and we'll see we'll see if having hay grass growing here actually attracts any animals. Uh, we could get, yeah, that'll be an interesting experiment. We'll see if like the animal population has a sudden uptick. I mean, obviously it's not fully grown, but I think even if it's just growing. It might help. I don't know. But I am curious to find out. Uh, okay. But I like that we have our auto doors here. We have auto doors here. We have auto doors here. It did take, I guess, probably more steel and components than we would have liked to make all those, but it's fine. It's done. And we could start manufacturing steel with a slag. I guess. Hmm. I don't know. We're not in dire need of steel right now. And we are still mining some out. And as long as we're mining it out, mining it out should yield a lot more steel than smelting it. And the steel that we're mining out is not that far away from our base. So I think mining it out should still be our priority rather than smelting it. We can do this, this chunk too, that's not too far away from us. Not the closest, but oh, we have a lot of steel in this chunk, which is good. Although after that, at some point, hmm, this is silver. We may want to, sooner than later, um, breach this zone here. Um, I've only seen a zone like this breached once, and I, I'm, when I say seen, I've breached a zone like this once, and I think I've never seen anyone else do it um, in any Let's Plays I've watched, not that I've watched that many. Um, but I think I know what's behind here, and I think we might be able to deal with it and reap the reward. Um, although it is hard to say exactly, and it is risky, it's definitely risky. Um, and in fact, I might want to wait until we have some more research, but at the same time, it could be, so I'll just say, if you don't know what's behind there, it, it's at least possible for you to get more colonists that way. And we could use some more colonists. I know we have seven, which does seem like a lot, but I mean, we are definitely doing everything we can, like all of our colonists are always busy. Um... And we still only have three that can fight, which really isn't that much. Um, we only have one cook. And we don't have any dedicated crafters, really. Uh, and we only, you know, we could <laughs> we could obviously use someone that's better at animal handling. Um, someone that was a dedicated, you know, 
tailor, for example, or a dedicated artist. Those, that would be great, and we just don't have the manpower. So um, I'm going to start thinking about that. So to do that, I think we would want to set up... How far away is this from our base? It is... Um, it's not the farthest. It's not the closest, but uh, we do have power conduits already going out to here. And what we would want to do is build turrets around it, I think, and power conduits, obviously, to get to those turrets. Now, maybe it wouldn't be an issue if we built a geothermal plant right here. And if we did that, we could, um, we could use that for these turrets here and and then you know remove the turrets and just wall off the um the geothermal thing so maybe we'll wait until we get geothermal just so we don't have to deal with the power uh plus we don't really have the steel right now we want to build out our defenses here before we build like additional turrets anywhere else so that's so I will put a pin in that, but I do I do think that maybe maybe once we do our little project over here um, with these additional growing zones, that might be our next thing. I think our next project after that might be to breach this area here and find out what's inside. Uh, yeah. Raisa, where are you going? Okay, making turrets. That's cool. Um, what's our all right we have only 13 components left so we might we might need to mine up more components soon too especially now that we have all these turrets um is there there are other places where we can mine components and maybe we'll need to start doing that that's mine right mine that um okay Components over here. A few. I guess we'll mine that out. What about up here? There's one in there. Sure. There is a lot of steel on the map. Then we'll get these. These are further away, but um, we don't have the technology to make components yet, so this is kind of what we're stuck with until... And, I th uh, and you know, now that we're kind of looking for places, like, oh, where can we get components from? Uh, I think we'll want to make buying components a priority whenever we see them for sale. See, but thank you, Bidwero. I think we'll need to set some more steel out to mine too. I think he's done mining all the steel over there. A bam! Okay, and with that, I think we're going to call it an episode. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like um, and please subscribe. Uh, please leave a comment. I enjoy hearing your comments, and I enjoyed playing with you today. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.